Hi everyone, it's Kels from Magpies YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to go through the review of the Interclub practice match as well. If you're attending Kels from Magpies, welcome, like, comment, share. If you're new to the channel watching this for the first time, like, comment, share and subscribe. Now, with the Interclub match that we had on Friday, um... There were some good signs. Um, the black team won by 20 points. I'll just go through my thoughts as well on top of that. Um, I like Mason Cox the, on how he performed in an inter-club inter match. I really like how he went about it, how we able to use the ball towards him. I think it's actually a good chance as well, my check, I thought he performed well and, and did what he ha had to do as much as anything. And the way that we moved the ball forward as well, I think you saw how we're going to play. I think you see that what we're going to do as a team, we're going to try to exploit that. Um, we are going to try and be a bit more tightened up with that defence, but also to get that run and and carry game so on that short kick mark game as well and use a handball and out to run it out as well and, and try and take the kick on through the corridor um there, there were a couple of plays that weren't there Brody Grundy obviously wasn't there um our HNS protocols um Jordan Rufford as well um Isaac Chug and we know John Degoe's hurt his ribs as well. Um, so they were the notable outs. On top of that, Jeremy Howe went down in the second quarter with a, a groin injury. So he'll miss a couple weeks as, as well. But should be right for round one, I would say, on top of that. I do like the way... Nick Dacos played, he showed a lot of glimpses of what he can do. I think he shows what he can do with the footy. Lipinski's another one. Kruger's going to be interesting as well if, if he plays. But I look at our defence. Pendles played across half-back. And you saw him playing in, in, in a bit of the midfield. Jack Critz and Brady Maynard as well, like their games, the way they went about it. Darcy Cameron as well could be a very good chance on top of that. And Isaac Craner's run on t as well with John Noble. I think that's going to be very interesting to see what we do with that. Arlo Draper, I thought, performed pretty decent well. Um, and... Harry um, Harrison kicked a go as well. Not bad. Jack um, Ginevan kicked a great go on top of that and really showed what he's capable of a a as much. And I think they're the ones that stand out more. Um, Oliver Henry, he can mark it, but I don't know if he'll play. I play him in in a preseason matches and see how he goes, and if he earn his selection, then you do it. Um, on top of that, but other than that, I really feel like he needs to take his game to the next step. We had Tyler Brown, Callum Brown in there as well. This is a big year, I think, for development for for, for Tyler, but to try and get that up and going. And Cal as well needs to take that next step and play in the midfield on top of that as well. And and you look at Jamie Elliott, I thought he performed really well. Um, and, and he gives that feedback, oh, you should kick to me there, sort of type thing. So he's very good at giving feedback. And when, when you kick to in the right area, you know, he can definitely take the mark and he kick a goal as well. Um, Josh Dacos was another star in the making performance as well. Jack Madden looked good as well. Nathan Murphy, the usual suspects out of that. Um, and I think what will happen is Charlie, that will probably have a second run. I don't think we'll go too tall. I think we will 
going with the experienced lineup. Charlie Dean looked very good in defence. Um, did a very good job. Darcy Moore, again, the way that we missed that. Jeremy Howard did pretty good as well before getting injured. But I think, other than that, like, uh, there is a lot to like. Uh, I think that we will clean up our defence a little bit more and make sure that that when we do score, we can score and, and we be patient with our ball movement as well. And I reckon the more that we do that, we can frustrate teams and definitely score from that as well. So I think there's a lot to like. There's a lot to to really go through. Um, out of what I've seen, it's not bad. Um, on, on top of that as well, um, and you've seen Patrick Lipinski tearing it up as well, doing a very good job. And I don't think that you will see much options when we do go forward as well. Jack Madgen, you know, the only thing is that Rafa's out for that month is who comes in. Oh, I think we're going to have to go either with a Kruger, Madgen as well. Madgen is a medium defender and I think same with Murphy. Now, Buckley played him on the wing. Small defend uh, on the small forwards. I think he needs to play on a medium size forwards as well. And I really like the way that we did move that ball across as well. So I think Jack Chris will play half back flank. I think and and been midfield time. Same Maynard as well. Play more midfield and playing defence as well. So, so that will be a, an ongoing thing on top of that. But I do see on how we move the ball on, how we get that game going, is that we're going to be a really good attacking team. We're going to try and look to score more. We're going to try and def stop the opposition's ball movement and keep them to less. If we make it harder for them... I think that we will get the job done and look to perform on top of that. So that's how I see it personally. Um, but other than that, yeah, it should be very interesting indeed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now. I'm out.